So here we go. We've got a few different things here. This is actually a box and a bottle set. It's old. It's about 105 years old. It's uh, made in New Jersey, and it's Reverend Re or Father D. Ulysses cough medicine, good for coughs, cold, bronchitis, whooping coughs, asthma, hay fever, and all afflictions of the throat and lungs. And it's uh, been, according to the literature that's falling apart that it's been coming with, it's uh, been found to bring relief to the most stubborn cases among friends and their children. And it's found in all cases to be a health builder and strengthening remedy and wonderful medicine within the reach of all. So no one should be denied its restoring compounds, according to this falling apart literature that comes with it. But Dr. Elise, I mean Father, excuse me, Father Elise's cough medicine is also embossed on the back with Father Elise's. And down here at the bottom, it says what's in it. And I don't know if you can see that. We're going to, oh, that's really good. You're doing a good job. Uh, it contains opium. Indian cannabis, heroin, alcohol, and chloroform. So Father D'Alessi will give you a good dose of <laughs> mixture of opium, Indian cannabis, heroin, alcohol, and chloroform. Mm, so, so what is smacking what, good. What is yeah, the, notice go. it says right here it's used by Father Alyssi for years, and it also says over here it's never known to fail. It's never been known to fail. I'm so, sure it hasn't. So what does a bottle like that cost? That's you know, full of our medicine. foundation <clears throat> got it for a little bit over five hundred dollars, and it's sealed, and we will never open this because it's so part of our about museum. A shot? Never mind. We're turning you down. We're not opening that. Yeah, money right no, there. no, this is a museum on, piece. We're not opening it. Hey, right it next door. Out. Now, this is 1905, circa 1905, Father D'Alessi's magic cough remedy. Right next to it, we have a tincture bottle from the 1880s. We've seen this in the past. It's got the label under glass or lug. Next to it, my fav one of my favorite supplements, hemp seed oil. Uh, I order this through Hemp Oil Canada and it's very nifty. As we were talking about, you can get 300 gallons of oil, and the byproduct of that is this flour, and high-protein flour. Prairie emerald hemp flour is protein-enriched, gluten-free, whole-grain flour that imparts the nutty flavor of hemp into a wide variety of baked goods. Hemp flour is an excellent source of protein containing all the essential amino acids. Hemp flour is very high in dietary fiber and a good source of energy for people on the go. So there it is, hemp flour. Next, we see hemp nuggets. Now these have been hulled. These are actual hemp seeds that have been roasted and the outer crunchy little coat's been taken off. And it's a lot like a cross between cashews and walnuts or pecans. It's got this initial cashewy, buttery flavor. And then it kind of after flavor of, of pecans or walnuts. And, and Tim, you want to talk about, you got our, our thing of hemp seed, hemp seed milk here. This is really good stuff. You introduced this to me a few weeks back and, and you've been bringing it on the show and I got to I take one it. home a few weeks back and I, I really enjoyed it. Put it in the refrigerator, cooled it down and, and I, I just really, I liked it. It's got all of the uh, omega-3, uh, it's got 2,800 uh, milligrams of omega-6, it's got all 10 essential amino acids, it's got four uh, grams of digestible protein, Essential vitamins A, B12, D, E, riboflavin, and folic acid, which is very important. Yes, and those vitamin uh, Bs are important. The essential minerals, magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, iron, and good old zinc. So I got to tell you, it's it's it tastes good and it's good for you. You know what? How about th that? Th and then we have the ginger yep. and hemp granola. That's a new one out there. I just found uh, out in a health food store ginger and granola. You know, we just buy this stuff out there once I see it and bring it on the show here so you folks out there know about the diversity of products that are available out there. And so uh, go out there and sample some hemp products. If not these, try some others. You'll be amazed at how good they are for you.